Lazy Susan assembly. You could get a little nervous because there are a lot of parts in the Lazy Susan. It's probably your most important cabinet because it's always starting in a corner. Anytime you install cabinets, you start in the corner and work your way out. So, don't get nervous about the Lazy Susan. It's not that bad. Here's what we need to do. Open up the box, take out all the parts. Now that the parts are out, let's figure out what goes where and why. So here's the first thing we want to do. We want to set up an assembly line to build that cabinet. It'll make so much sense when you do it this way and the job will go easy. I'm left-handed so I like to start on my left side. I know this is my left side because A, it's finished clean. I can see the front of my toe kick. This tells me this is my left side. If the, the toe kick cutout was on the opposite side, it would be my right side. So this is my left side. I'm going to set it to my left. The next piece I want to have is the back of my left side. I know it's the back of my left side because of this. If you look at this joint that's been milled out, it always goes to the center of the rear. And I'm going to show you that center panel at the very back of the cabinet, and you'll see where it goes. And then my clips here are going to fit right into the side of my left side. And when we put that together, it'll come together. Next, we're going to have the back. I want to point out a couple things. You're going to see a very unique cut on the left and right side. And what that does is that's going to slide down into that channel that's been milled out. So we know that's the very rear of that Lazy Susan. So I have that next. Then I repeat the process for the right side. So I've got one, two, and three. That's going to build our box and get us ready to start putting in the interior and put the frame on. Next, we're going to have a couple trays. Sometimes in these boxes, they'll already be put together. All you have to do is just pull it out, set it to the side. In fact, it will look something like this. It'll have a big panel. It'll have the tray already mounted to it. So you don't have to do anything but just set it inside the cabinet and you're ready. But sometimes they have to be built and we're going to show you how to do that in just a moment. The last step is to have your frame. You're going to have two parts. You're going to have your side frame and your main frame. You just set these off to the side. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. Lay out your tools. Lay out your screws. Lay it on a nice workbench with a protective cover, and then we're ready for step two. Next, let's talk about tools for just a moment. I like a really small, lightweight, but powerful screwdriver. Something that may have a little LED light in it. Something like this is really fantastic. It's easy to use and lightweight. And so when you're working with these cabinets, it just makes it go a lot smoother. Other than that, I like a rubber mallet but I don't have one today, so we're just going to use a, a hammer, and I'm going to be very gentle. There again, please use a rubber mallet. I've done this a million times, so I've got a bit of experience. And once you have your tools in place, you're ready to go. We're going to move on to putting our uh, trays together. We're going to start with our base, and this particular base is shaped the way the Lazy Susan is going to be built. For the second tier, Sometimes you may just have a rectangle board and it's already pre-drilled and you're going to have you're going to have your roller tray and so you just it's quite ex to explain it it's quite simple to just lay it on there the holes are already pre-drilled and you just anchor the screws down. I'm going to take just a moment to do that because I want to point out something that's very important. Alright, great. Once that's together, how in the world are we going to screw the Lazy Susan to it? You're going to notice a pre-drilled hole. So, what we have to do is lay our tray down. You'll notice on the back, four pre-drilled holes. 
So we just face those up. We lay this right down on top of it. I always like to start where I can see the hole. And it's going to make it a lot simpler. Just lay it right down where you can see. It doesn't even matter if it's lined up. Once you set one hole, it goes together real easy after that. Don't snug, oh yeah, another thing, don't snug it up, just set the screw, because we've got to be able to rotate things around and line it up. Once you have your four screws set, then go back and snug them up nice and tight. You just have to use a little patience on this, but you need to do these. This is the first thing you should really be doing before you start to build the cabinet. Because you don't want to try to assemble this once your cabinet's built. You don't want to set this and then try to do it. It's just impossible. Once it's done, we've got our tray ready to go. We're going to set it off to the side for later. Once that's completed, we've got both trays ready to go. We're ready for step three. For step three, it's time to go ahead and start putting this box together. So, I'm going to take, as I stated earlier, I'm going to take my left side. I know it's my left because it's finished clean. So it's my left side. I'm going to lay it right down, just like so. What I normally do is I like to loosen up these screws on the mounting brackets. I just back them out a turn or two. Just makes it a lot easier when we put the cabinets together for our clips to slide up under there and not have any restriction. So I've done that. Just loosen them a little bit. It's quite evident there's only one way this can fit. You see the three different clips already mounted. They'll only line up with what you already have. So we just we just slide them right in there. Once it sits Make sure it's snug. Just, just snug it a little bit. Don't bear down on it with all you have because these are small screws and they will strip. So you just, you just want to snug it up. You'd be surprised how well this holds. It's super strong. Once those are snug, These are the screws that we like to use. It's the big pan head screws. They're nice, thick threads. They're going to hold it together really well. You will notice there's a hole left in the clip. You just simply screw it right through the hole. Snug it. That's it. It's done. Some of your drills you can adjust so if you, if you get it just right, it's got what's called a ratchet. Here at ratcheting and it won't strip out your screws. So you can play with that adjustment and that will also help if you're a bit inexperienced. Hold it just right. Didn't have to worry about stripping it at all. I could sit there all day and it won't strip it out. Once that side is done, you can see where it came together. We're going to set it off to the side, then we're going to assemble the right side. It'll be done the exact same way, and then that'll take us to step four. Next on the list, short step. I wish they were all this easy. You're going to see two pieces. What in the world are these for? Well, these are going to form your toe kit. So, uh, basically, when we put the cabinet together, at the very bottom, where it meets, you've got your toe kit. So it meets like so, so when you're standing there, you know, your foot doesn't go up under it and it looks good. And that's, that's what that's for. And so we'll put that together now. Grab your side. 